Yeah, our current practice is that we perform a leukophoresis on a leukemia and lymphoma patient and prepare from his own um, T cells, a CAR T cell product. So that is called autologous. Um, however, uh, that needs a personalized and individualized manufacturing process, which currently takes still a lot of time. It's uh, basically two weeks of culture, but with all the preparation, the freezes, done shipment of material forth and back, it's a process which might cover even uh, five or more weeks if you include the time of um, preparation of documents for uh, healthcare, PS, etc. It might be even a time period of six to eight weeks, which is definitely too long because we are talking about patients with aggressive lymphoma or acute leukemia. So the idea came up to produce a uh, a product, a cell product from the shelf using T cells from an allogeneic healthy subject and produce CAR T cells thereof and eventually uh, transfuse that to a patient uh, directly after uh, giving chemo uh, chemotherapy over three days. Um, so this is a highly desirable goal. However, allogeneic means that uh, the T cells from another human being, even if it's 10 to 10 HLA matches, uh, will be recognized uh, on the basis of other surface antigen and has the problem of being rejected by the donors, the patient's organism and immune system. So you need besides the CAR vector transduction into the T cells, another manipulation, another genetic modification of the allogeneic T cells, which can be performed either by silencing RNA, by telin based uh, knockout or CRISPR Cas9 uh, based knockout of the T cell um, a receptor, the autochthonous TCR. So that makes things cumbersome, but the uh, things trials are on the way and are reported. And uh, a colleague of mine, Ruben uh, Benjamin, will report on his experience from a London Hospital.